Well, Black and White Network, Trump was right yet again. This man seems to be right about a whole bunch of things, guys. A lot. He told you what was going to happen if you voted for Joe Biden in 2020. He told you that they were going to try to make you get rid of your gasoline cars. He predicted inflation, all this stuff. Trump was right. And just the other day, guys, Trump spoke at the uh, Libertarian um, Convention. He said, hey, you should vote for me. You can keep doing what you're doing, but guess what? You're going to get no more than 3% of the vote. Folks, you cannot take the Libertarian Party seriously. There's a reason why probably some uh, common sense thinking Libertarians actually don't run with the Libertarian Party. They actually go to the Republican Party. The Libertarian Party is a joke. A complete joke. Now, you can say what you want about uh, Democrats trying to run Joe Biden. OK, you can. This man is incompetent. OK, but the Democratic Party is already established. They've been around for what? 170 years, almost 200 years, something like that. They've been around a while. The Libertarians, though, they can't make a dent. They don't have anybody that anybody wants to vote for. I mean, basically, an independent is actually more popular than a libertarian candidate. There's no doubt about it, guys, that RFK Jr. is going to get more votes than the libertarian candidate. Ross Perot, remember him in uh, 92 and uh, 96, ran as an independent. He made a dent. He didn't win, but he made a dent. But the Libertarians, though, nah, nah, they don't want to win. They don't want to win. These people at this convention, man, they booed Trump. Some of them started cheering. But there's probably a reason why they booed Trump. Because guys, they go out there and they nominate a left wing lunatic to be their candidate. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream. Every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. So here we go, guys. Check this out. Libertarians select gay, Antifa loving, Trump hating, vaccine mandate supporting, open borders enthusiasts as their presidential candidate. They couldn't even nominate a right wing libertarian. They go out there and they basically get a guy that's like defund the police. See, this is the problem, though, with uh, libertarians, man. Some of these libertarians are like, hey. They don't want police. Hey. Fine. I'm down with that. You see, that's why I'm not a libertarian, man. Wow. Oliver, who describes himself as armed and gay has a history of taking radical left wing positions. Now, apparently he's for the Second Amendment, but this guy is pretty radical on the left with a lot of other things. Wow. And this guy got some like 60 percent of the vote to become nominee. Libertarians, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, you guys see this picture right here. This is him right here. Stop Cop City. Remember Cop City in um, Atlanta where Antifa actually went down there and basically firebombed the place? Yeah. He's a he's a gay man, too. But um, let's go and read this. It says the Libertarian Party has selected their preferred presidential candidate after a tumultuous weekend that saw speeches from up from both um, RFK Jr. and leading GOP candidate and former President Donald Trump. The nominee is none other than Chase Oliver, the Antifa-loving drag queen story hour backing, my God, that scene mandate supporting open border enthusiasts who hates Trump. Oliver, who describes himself as armed and gay, has a history of taking radically 
left wing positions. This the best you can do? Is this really the best you can do? Wow. Now, I was actually um found out because uh, Trump said you should actually make me the nominee or vote for me. Apparently, Trump can't actually be on the ticket for both the Republicans and the Libertarians. OK, so that's that can't happen. But man, you Libertarians, man. You guys better go out there and vote Trump, man. I mean, this guy who they put up is radical, man. Says in the final round of voting at the Libertarian National Convention, Oliver won with 60 percent of the vote, clearing the majority threshold to secure the nomination for the 2024 election. The vote in itself took more than seven hours and seven rounds of elimination voting before Oliver got the nod from his party. Oliver beat out uh, closest contender Michael Reckenwald a former NYU professor, to take the nomination. During his victory speech, Oliver said, quote, I will continue to bring a hopeful and positive message of liberty to both those who consider themselves libertarian and those who don't know they are libertarian yet. He also pledged to his party cohorts that, quote, we can set the world free in our lifetimes and would end the Genocide in Gaza, man. This this, this guy's pro Hamas too, man. This guy's pro Hamas. He is pro terrorist, man. Wow. Oliver called Trump an authoritarian and said that other libertarians should not unite with him at the head of the Republican Party. He also did not want him to address the convention unless he would stand to debate the libertarian nominee. Oliver has also defended Antifa, the leaderless group that wreaked havoc across the U.S. during the George Floyd riots of 2020 and is the force behind the ongoing Atlanta Stop Cop City protests, which he also supports. Wow. Is this guy really a libertarian man? Doesn't sound like it to me. Oliver has consistently shared content from Antifa group pages on his Facebook account. He also compared those who fought in World War II to anti-fascists. Oliver himself has claimed the label of being anti-fascist. So he's Antifa. That's basically what he's saying. Wow. I guess this is, um, what's on this clip? Is this him doing his, um, Victory speech, I'm not really sure. Let's, let's listen. My name is Chase Oliver. I have lived in and around the city of Atlanta for nearly my entire life. I am here as a member of the Libertarian Party. The reason why I'm saying that is because I think you need to understand that this is not a left versus right issue. This is a right versus wrong issue that we're dealing with with Cobb City. I'm asking you to listen to your constituents. There are many of them out there. We can hear them right now, but not a single one of you who voted for Cop City is listening to each and every one of them out there. And that is your job. You have been tasked with doing the work that the people who elected you to do. You are not doing that work right now. You are betraying the trust that people have put in you. And not only are you betraying the trust by approving this funding, the police are betraying this trust by asking for this facility. Because the truth is, is the police have not earned our trust and you have not earned our trust. If you want our trust, then hold yourselves accountable. Hold the police accountable by ending qualified immunity. Hold police accountable by ending a war on drugs that sends far too many of our people who are uh, suffering from addiction to jail instead of where they need to be healing themselves. If you want to be held, uh, if you want trust from us, hold yourselves to account and hold the police to account. Because my entire life, I have seen the city of Atlanta make false promises that we're going to address these issues, that we're going to find new ways to address crime that doesn't just involve the barrel of a gun, but it seems that every time that there's a new solution, you ignore it and you go right back to the same old, well, we just need to train ourselves better. And that is a lie. There are already training facilities for every member of the Atlanta Police Department. Wow. Wow. And this post right here, man, he's saying I am anti-fascist. Yeah, this man is supporting Antifa, man. Wow. And this is who the Libertarians nominated. Look here. In 2020, when Trump said Antifa uh, would be designated as a terrorist organization, 
Oliver shared a post from Spike Cohen defending the violent left wing organization that said, quote, there is no Antifa organization. Oliver said, echoing the sentiments of leftist media outlets who made the same false claim. Wow. He said he made ending cash bail a central part of his 2020 uh, run for Congress. Man, this is um, absolutely hilarious, man. The Libertarian Party, man. This dude is down with drag queen story hour. He is perfectly okay, it seems, you know, with a radical left wing gender indoctrination of kids. And this is what you did. You nominated this guy. Wow. This is absolutely astonishing, man. Trump was right, man. This party is dead. Actually, they were never alive anyway. I mean, they may get 1% of the vote. Man, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thank you.